Dookies, Andy Lip here, back with another Advanced OBS tutorial, and we're looking at another shader filter from Excel Draw. You remember the old rounded corners one where it changed all the corners to rounded? Because that's where, where where fashion's going. Everything's rounded. I like it. It's like getting back in the 60s, man. Groovy, baby. Right, I'm losing it. Um, alrighty then. No, it's a different film. It'd be right. Uh, so this one, we can actually control each corner individually. So uh, rather than just having all four corners the same amount of roundness, we can have maybe one corner not rounded, corner getting all the rounded. You get the picture. There's so many cool things that you can do with this. Like it's infinitely adjustable because like, let's just start messing about with some move filters. Yeah, hint, 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 hint. Let's just get on with it, all right? Put your rug over the stone, let's go. Like with all the shader filters, they, we do need the shader filter plugin, so you can get that on the OBS website. The link is in the description down below. Just hit download just in this top right hand corner just there, and that'll download to wherever your downloads folder is, uh, and you'll be able to unzip it. So right click, press extract all, and then open up that folder. There's the OBS-Studio folder in there. We're just going to open that, and we're going to select data and the OBS plugins folders. Right click, copy, and we're going to go to your OBS folder. So mine is on my C drive drive and then in program files yours might be in program files 86 but mine's in program files i'm gonna go to obs-studio all lowercase in there right click press paste for me it's gonna ask me to replace because i've already got it installed so you do that if you are updating it'll ask for admin privileges just say yes to everything get it installed that is all done we're all good to go next up we're gonna jump on to this website just here this is on uh, excel drives github you know the link is in the description down below we're just gonna right click anywhere on this page press save as and then it'll bring up this text box just here. Well, the save box. We're going to delete the dot text, the, the .txt at the end. So it's just going to be rounded rect per corner dot shader. And then click on the save as file type and change it to all files. Because we don't want to save it as a text file. We want to save it as a shader. Press save. I'm going to send that to my desktop. Go to wherever you've saved that to. So like say mine's on my desktop. So jump to my desktop. And you'll see around a rectangle there. I'm going to cut that. And we're going to go back into your OBS Studio folder. And then we're going to go into Data, OBS Plugins. And then down this list, depending on how many you've got installed plugin-wise, go down to Shader Filter. So OBS Shader Filter. Open that up. Go to Examples. Open that. Right click. And press Paste. It's going to ask for admin privileges. I'm just going to replace everything. That's cool. Just press Continue. And there we go. We're ready to go. Close that down. And then we're going to jump into OBS. Here's my beautiful webcam that I've got ready. Right click on the any source you want to do this to. Go to filters. You can tell if you've got it installed correctly. Because when you press plus, you'll see user defined shader. If you don't see that, you've not installed the plugin correctly. Uh, the shader filter plugin. So make sure you run through that step again. Maybe even restart your computer as well. I don't know. Any Every little helps, doesn't it? Uh, open that up. Well, I'm just going to leave it as user defined shader. You can call it whatever you like. And we're going to load shader text from file. So we just click that. The cam might disappear. That's fine. Press browse. And we're going to go to that rounded rectangles. So rounded rect per corner dot shader. We're going to open that up. And our camera comes back. And we can just see some settings further down this list. So this time, similar to the other one, you'll see corner radius TL stands for top left same for top right bottom right and bottom left the border thickness and the alpha and end you can tinker with all these settings so if i start cranking up the radius for the top left let's say we'll put that on 100 so we've got this nice rounded corner up at the uh, the top left now as you can see i'll uh, do the top right as 100 as well why not something different and then this time the bottom left i'm going to leave bottom right at zero bottom left i'll put on like say i don't know should we do 500 or something like that? Look at that. I look like one of them credit cards. I can't remember. What company is it? I don't know. I don't know. They look like Summit. It looks like Summit. What does it look like? Tell me in the comments. It looks like Summit. Border thickness. We can add a bit of a border. So if I go, say, uh, add 100 border. Look at this. I've got a glow effect. I'm using the alpha as well. So if you don't want the alpha, you can just leave that on one and it'll be a solid line. We can change the border thickness down now with, to 10. We can do 100. Do whatever you like. It's completely up to you. 20. And as you can see, that is how we can get a cool little thing. Looks like there's a bug with the bottom right hand corner just there. So don't worry about that. I'll, uh, I'll feed it back. That will be fixed. I'm not sure what that is, but Excel Drive will fix it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. So by the time you download this, that'll be fixed. It won't be there. All right, trust me. 
Just a quick note from future me. I was being dumb dumb. It's not bug. It's not broken. It's because my corner radius was smaller than the outline. Exceldra was just like, you dumb dumb, son. You dumb dumb. And also another point is I did make the radius massive to just for the purpose of the video. Obviously, if you use a huge number radius, it will use more CPU power. As you saw, I did lose a few frames on there. So make sure you do like, don't overdo it. Like adding 100 and 500 was a little bit over overkill okay so back to the video so fiddle about with that there'll be uh, lots of fun with it there's use the mill filter as well because then you could get around a corner just going round your shape yeah i mean there's some cool stuff that you'll be able to do just mash that in with the move transition plugin if you've got any questions let me know in the comment section down below and all that jazz you know how it works guys jump in the discord if you do need any help as well if you do want to support me with my content, it does take me a while to do all these videos and you want to help me make this content full time, then you can join my Patreon and you do get access to all the videos early so you can be a cut above the rest. Do you know what I mean? Well, for, for a week or two maybe, but you, you get, get my drift. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for all your support so far. Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.